Just... Hello? Oh, there. Hey, Jerry, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Richard Lindy? Pam Wangen said she was going to be absent. Robert Heimroll and Charlie Wig. Charlie Wig. Four are present and we have a quorum. Perfect, thank you. Uh, if everyone would please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. And do any of our board members have potential conflicts of interest with any of uh, today's items? Mr. Chair, Marcus Tavalio logging in here. I don't have a conflict. Just want to let you know I'm here. Hi, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. All right, uh, approval of the minutes from March 22nd. We have a motion. Jerry Jones, make a motion to approve as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, let's do a voice vote. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Sounds like the meeting minutes are approved. Thank you. Uh, that brings us to item 3.1, uh, revisiting the Verlo wall signage at 4315 South Taylor Drive. Um, if you wouldn't mind coming to the podium, uh, making sure it's on. It looks as if it is. Hello. Does it work? And uh, so if you've made some significant changes and have a number of options for us to consider. Yeah, um, so maybe um, explain what you were thinking and if you have a preference for any of them or if it's kind of yep, up to I, us to set a direction for you. Perfect, that'd be great. Um, so option one was kind of what we were originally uh, hoping to do to kind of, uh, we modified it a little bit, made sure the dimensions were just right and that uh, sign me up, made sure that we met all the requirements for height of letter and total signage um, for the letters uh, for the size of the building. So that was kind of the option one is kind of what we had hoped to do to kind of make it look um, the facade going all the way to the ground and kind of a more uh, in-depth enhancement of that uh, end cap unit. Um, option two is one of the options that we had I kind of had as we were talking the last time I kind of thought okay well let's get rid of all the extra facade and let's just take the white backing so that they have a place to run all the wires and uh, just kind of cap that a little bit in, in the cedar siding. Um, it would be less, um, less obtrusive, I think. It's, it's more of a, facade, a smaller facade with a sign. And again, uh, I had sign me up, just double check and make sure that we met the criteria for the signage uh, application. Uh, option three, the sign company said, okay, well, what if we just brought one of the middle piece down, out outlined the whole thing in the cedar siding and brought uh, the whole, um, the cedar siding down to the ground. Uh, it won't make the neighbors look like they're small or, or out. So they just thought that was an option. Um, honestly, that's not my favorite option. So I, it's, um, and then the last page, uh, the sign company was saying that you can actually see the back of this building when you're up by the Walmart area. And we have two signs now. And so they said, well, if you're gonna go to the review board, um, they thought maybe it would make sense to put a sign on the back of the building as well. Cause you can really see that part of the building as you're heading on South Taylor Drive. So I included that for your consideration, but I, um, I, I guess my option would be, I, I really like option number two. I mean, I, I'd love option number one, but I understand that that might be, that might be too much. Um, so option one or option two would be what I would, what I would love if it's possible. Great. 
let's uh, let's start with that south facade and and deal with that. I guess first okay. of all, Steve, for the signage requirements and restrictions. Yeah, um, is this is this on the side of the building that your business is on? Well, the way they have By it the on the picture, this isn't actually where the they had suggested they put it on the back door above the garage door. So this picture actually depicts it as being on the south side. The, the actual uh, sign would go on the east side of the building or the east facing side of the building. Um, the, back the back where parking. all the loading docks are? Yes. Gotcha, okay, yep. okay. Um, you know, as far as that, uh, square footage wise, they'll just do the percentages and different things of that nature. But if that's something that they would want to consider, they certainly can do that. Okay, I'm just bringing up the site, so I'm making sure I'm thinking about the right location. Yeah, I and I didn't even realize that until you said south side. I'm like, we're not putting a sign on this. And then I looked at the picture and it's in the wrong place. Yeah, so I'm yeah, sorry okay. about that. No, no problem. I, I was just, I didn't know if it was wrapping around the corner of the business, but it's in the back. Yeah. Yep, that was it that you had. Keep going. This, this, yep. Kind of hard to tell if that would be visible from that angle or not. Maybe. So you you were saying that additional sign would be on the, the very back facade by the garage doors, not the side of the building. Correct. Not on the side of the building facing south. It actually would be on the back side of the building facing east. But technically, because of the way that road Taylor yeah. Drive curves so so abruptly there. Um, when you're driving south on Taylor Drive, just past that stoplight, you see the whole back side of that building, and that would be at the very end uh, of that building. I'm just uh, taking a look on Google Maps to try and get my bearings for that. Yeah. Um, seems like where you'd have a sight line to it, it's a long way away. That is um, one of the concerns is you may not even, yeah. people may not even know what it is. And so that we're still kind of, my wife says no. <laughs> um, in terms of marketing dollars, yes, it, it, she's how like effective. That is, she's like um, the, my only argument to back to her or even to any. It, the whole reason I'm even considering it, we already have the sign. We've already spent the seven thousand dollars on the sign. Okay. It's already there. It isn't going to cost me very much at all to move it to the back of the of that building. And my question to my wife when she said no was, what are we going to do with this sign? <laughs> Um, you won't let me put it in the garage at home, so. So question to the board, whether anyone has any objections with that back side of the building and that uh, signage going there? It sounds as if it's meeting the city requirements. Yes. Uh, no objection. Perfect. Marcus, any concerns from your end? None at all. Okay. So I think we're in agreement that that south sign, you're you're free to do, even though it's not the south side, on the back of the building, uh, whatever you'd like to there. Okay. Just make sure it's confirmed through staff yep. before it proceeds. Can I ask one question? Would anyone have any issues if they decided to put it on the south side of the building by the driveway on the corner? Um, not saying that oh, no, you I, will, but I just in case uh, um, Mr. Fetty and I wanted to have any additional conversations if he looked at it and decided, hey, I, I may want to put it on the south side. I don't have any objections to the south or the rear, so I don't know if anyone else would. If that meets all the no, same requirements. I yeah, and I would leave that up to staff. I'm fine with that, Steve. Yeah, and that, that does seem like a much more visible potential location. True. So great. Um, so then moving to the question of the main signage and the options presented. Um, any strong feelings on any of the options from our board members? I've got uh, a, a concern with option three, um, with the, what makes it look like a giant sign, um, it, as in like the most comical sense of one, with the middle post. I don't think that's a good idea, but that's just my take on it. Yeah. Thanks. I, I would agree with that, Marcus. I think option three of all of them, I, I, like the least 
Uh, it was very static, but going on that somewhat dynamic facade of the arch, it just was fighting more than the others. I think I, I like the asymmetry of options one and two. Um, just to confirm, the white portion, uh, I believe, was extending out to be deeper than the, the wood look portion. Yes, uh, just so a, a little bit. Just not, a little bit more depth. Yeah, than it gives like a 3D appearance to yep. it. So I think then in option two, that's working well. And I think it was that depth piece that I was having a harder time with on option one. Um, I think option one is possible, but I wondered if still if we were staying under the square footage uh, requirements, if the white portion of that signage actually extended another foot or so, so that on the left side it actually comes to the center line where the the transition is between the properties. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that way that depth sort of wraps back to the building. And then I would wonder about the same thing on the other side to just break the line at the window. Um, th those verticals just seem very strong and maybe breaking those up would just make it a little bit more uh, fluid. But I could see that working, or I think option two as is, in my mind, would be workable. Thoughts from the rest of the board? Mr. Fede. This is Jerry. Uh, oh. oh. Go ahead, Jerry. My bad, sir. Oh, yeah, my preference would be for, uh, if we're ranking, my preference would be two, then one, uh, two as is, one with the changes you outlined. Thank you. Dick. We have a motion. Do we also have a second? I did not hear the motion. Dick's option was to approve option number two as submitted. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Steve. Are you all right with the option two, Mr. Fay? Yes, I like option two. So we have a motion and a second. Any additional discussion on that? Otherwise, let's uh, go ahead and vote. Steve, if you could make the call. Joe Clark. Aye. Marcus Savaglio. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Richard Lindy. Aye. And Robert Heimroll. It is passed. Awesome. Thank Hope you, guys. Works for you. Uh, so very much. That'll be perfect. It'll excellent. look great. Thank you for Thank making you. adjustments and coming back. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. you for your help. All See right. you guys. That moves us to item 3.2, the proposed uh, revisions to the submittal for Popeye's Restaurant at 3207 South Business Drive. If you wouldn't mind... Coming to the podium uh, and introducing yourself, and then maybe the best uh, plan of attack is to kind of run through the comments previously and what you're choosing to change versus uh, advocate to keep the sure. same. Uh, my name is James Burkhardt. I work with Excel Engineering. Um, so a couple of things that we did, uh, we raised up the parapet at the entry, like was uh, mentioned in the last meeting. We uh, added the brick wainscot around the entire base of the building. We adjusted the colors of the awnings to match the uh, shutter color. We added the wood Nichiha um, around the freezer in the back to match the front. And then uh, some of the uh, coping colors changed as well. I appreciate the changes, thank you. Um, the, the one item that still stuck out to me was, uh, had been hoping that the fake brick could be upgraded to actual brick in keeping with uh, most of the other development in that area. Sure. Uh, presentation previously had indicated that might be a possibility. Is that still on the table or is that financially just not an option? It, or, it's or still on the table. Um, we, we were hoping to maybe persuade you just to go with the, the Nietzsche house still. Um, I brought in a couple samples just to have you kind of take a look at, but um, real brick is definitely not off the table. We just kind of hoping to still go with the, the Nietzsche house. The I'm familiar with the product, and it's a, a good product. Just we've had a, a bias against the, the fake, especially the fake masonry, um, and trying to avoid a 
precedent that sure. we don't want to get stuck with down yep. the road. Um, so if it is possible, I know I would certainly prefer to see the actual masonry there. Okay. But I, I do appreciate there's additional cost involved, more foundations. Um, but if that is something to consider, that is good to know. Other comments? And, and, yeah, James, if I if I could add, and also I think the premise of keeping that proposed uh, Nijiha product was just because going back to the franchise Zor, it is a little bit less complicated to get them to approve an expansion of the already applied product versus getting them to both approve an expansion of the use of the product and a sub substitution to another product. So I was trying to limit how much we're having to get the franchise or to override their, because it's their original design. So we, we do have some flexibility to push them to accept variances. Uh, we just try not to get too broad with those so I, it's it's easy for me to get the parent company to approve the adjustment of just expanding the use of the product that they've already uh dictated versus getting them to approve an expansion and at the same time getting them to approve a substitution of a product as well okay, thank i believe that was uh mark rodriguez correct mark yes sir i'm sorry Additional feedback from the board? So Joe, deferring to you uh, as the professional here, would it be more important for the actual, um, the, the product that they're using or the expansion? What would, which one would you prioritize? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mind, you would say that. Um, We had originally, I think, requested to do more of the actual brick, uh, including that, that front section under the Popeye's sign, uh, under that window, where they have the vertical uh, Nichiha siding. Um, yeah, I would be fine leaving that Nichiha, uh, but would really like to see that wainscot and those tower elements done in actual brick. Uh, if, if they can't do that, and I think keeping the wainscot as masonry, and then if we could keep a, a masonry wainscot at the towers perhaps and put the Nichiha vertical siding above that. Um, but then we're starting to change a, a number of things. Uh, I like the consistency of the masonry and the tower elements just being a single vertical element. Uh, you know, breaking those up with a a wainscot underneath, I don't know, would be great. We're just concerned with uh, that product in that location, how it's going to hold up long term. Yeah, that helps a lot. Um, because from my perspective, it was more important to have the masonry to reflect the area around it than it was to have the expansion. That's just my two cents. Anybody? <laughs> uh, it's still not a huge fan of thin brick, but I would prefer that to the Nichiha panelized brick. Right. I think that the detailing on that just is more in keeping with, with an actual brick finish. Mm -hmm. Dick, any comments from your end? Nope. Nope. So I think it's uh, clear. I would still be advocating for the actual brick in lieu of the locations called out currently as the Nichiha brick. Um, but we would certainly entertain motions and see where we get to. Anyone? So Joe, um, just to clarify, it's a little difficult remote. We apologize for that. Are we looking at uh, keeping the brick, uh, changing to the brick, um, but it, are we expanding it or are we keeping it the same? So as it's currently shown, the Nichiha brick is the wainscot material and the vertical towers as the entries. I guess that's that material uh, labeled, I believe, as number one. Anywhere it's currently a number one, 
on the elevations. I personally would like to see it changed to the actual masonry. Uh, if we start to get more convoluted and break up those towers, I think that would probably require a, a resubmittal just to be able to see how that turns out. So they, they have expanded the vertical Nichiha siding around the freezer unit at the back. It was previously just the exposed freezer. Okay. So in my mind, it's just the uh, material label number one and what that actually is. But I'm just one vote, so uh, you can motion what anyone else might like. Well, I, for my purposes, I'd like to make a motion to approve as presented, keeping number changing number one to the brick uh, in in the areas that's labeled number one currently. Second. All right, we do have a motion and a second for that. Uh, any further discussion? I guess from the owner's side, if that's something you go back to uh, the the powers that be and they can't do that. Is then brick okay? Did, did we say that that was okay versus the Nichiha? Uh, I guess I would go back, Jerry, to your motion, whether a thin brick would be acceptable as a substitute for the Nichiha or whether we're looking for a full course of actual brick. I prefer a full course, but in my, in, just in my personal opinion, thin brick would be fine. Yes, that, what's that? So perhaps if we uh, leave the motion as is, uh, knowing that we would like to see it as brick, if management isn't able to do that, to come back through staff to then haggle to see if we'd be able to take the thin brick. I think the applicant might want to say something, Mr. Rodriguez. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to interrupt, but uh, I think we're, we're okay with going back to the franchisor under the pretense of asking them to approve it as real brick. Uh, I just, I guess maybe would like, for the sake of our development time window, seeing if maybe we couldn't get a acceptance of using either the Nichiha or a thin brick as an alternate if the franchisor isn't willing to uh, approve real brick. But I, we're okay with it. I don't think from a cost perspective, it's a dramatic difference. Uh, I think it's more of a, in the labor aspect of real brick is really the component that it's hard to calculate. But um, as far as the franchisee side of things, I'm perfectly okay going back to the franchisor and asking them to approve it as real brick. I would just, just for the sake of time and not having to drag the, the approval processes out, if I can get like maybe an approval to use that in the event that the franchisor won't approve it, I guess, is maybe my question. Yeah, thank you, Mark. I think that's a, a good suggestion. So, Jerry, if we could uh, amend your motion to be approving as the actual brick uh, with an understanding that we would accept the thin brick if uh, management isn't able to approve the full brick. Is I that accept that amendment. And Marcus, that's your second? It, that's fine with me. All right, so we have a motion and a second. We've had plenty of discussion. Uh, anything else to weigh in on that? And everyone's clear on what we're voting on? Perfect. Yes. Case, Steve, if you could please call the roll. Sure. Joe Clark? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Jerry Jones? Aye. Richard Lindy? Aye. Robert Heimroll? Perfect. That then passes. Great. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you very much. So, so what you guys could do then is just uh, you, you have it approved. You can go back and then if there's any changes, what you can do is resubmit the updated drawings, okay. and I can confirm it as staff. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right, Mark. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thanks, Great. James. Thank you very much. Uh, any other items the board would like to discuss before we adjourn? I have one item. Steve. Um, just wanted to let everyone know, because of the election that just took place, 
we will be meeting the uh, fourth week of the month, but the committees don't get set until the council meeting that Monday. So the meeting will be on Wednesday. Um, I believe it's April 28th, if I'm not mistaken. So again, we'll, we'll highlight that on your agendas, but that just for this one meeting, it will be on Wednesday, April 28th, and we will have an agenda. Steve? Yes. Uh, when, when will you schedule? Is plan still for Tuesday? Uh, yes, plan commission will, uh, uh, because the committees will be announced that Monday evening, plan commission will still meet on its regularly scheduled time and date. Thank you. All right, so then I would make a motion to adjourn. Do you have a second? Second. Uh, let's just do a voice vote. Uh, all in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Then we're adjourned till the 28th. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.